Hey everyone, this is Kit Cabello with Hard Lens Media and this is Perspective. So, let's talk about what's right now happening here in the United States. We have 22 million Americans who right now filed for unemployment. That number is going to rise up. You have a lot of people right now talking about how we're going to be entering into a second Great Depression. And it's looking like a reality. We have oil in the negative. Uh, there is still no cure for COVID-19. We have an incompetent uh, political leadership, not only in the office of the presidency, but in the United States Congress and Joe Biden and his campaign. Well, they are what they are at this point. We need to break this neoliberal system apart. Um, and the system that we have isn't designed to take care of the American people. When it comes down to fighting for progressive causes or actually making sure that there's a real social safety net, we have an establishment and a political class that's doing whatever they can to basically take care of the top 1%. Now, I do believe that there are some good people who are at least in office that want to bring in change. And AOC, while we on the show have been very critical of her, she has been very outspoken. I would like her to speak more, to be more aggressive. And recently she went on social media uh, talking about the concerns about this relief package and right now why Congress needs to act more. Check this video out and I'll be giving my response to it. And if we are going to bring every member or call back almost every member who can back to DC, to pass a small incremental bill and with the knowledge that we are not coming back until next month again, that's two rent checks. And the last time we left, again, we lost over one 9 11 worth of people due to this lack of, of, um, of action. And so we really need to acknowledge that that this small bill, whilst again, something is better than nothing, and frankly, Democrats fought very, very hard to get basic things like testing. Republicans didn't want to fund hospitals. They didn't want to fund mass testing, which is what is actually going to allow us to reopen the economy. So I appreciate the, the strides that they made in that. But ultimately, in voting on the text of this bill, knowing that Congress is, we are abdicating our responsibility. We haven't legislated for a month and thousands of people are dying. Thousands of people are dying every day. And we aren't going, and we're talking about coming back. And every time we pass one of these bills, we're hearing that the real solution is coming in the next bill and then the next bill and the next bill. And at some point we have to raise our hands and say, when is the solution coming? because two months of rent have, are going to pass by before we're actually even entertaining a real bill. And people, we're talking about a mass, but we're talking about the scope of mass displacement in the United States of America. We are also talking about major cities, New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, laying off almost every city worker or large, thousands of city workers and essentially only keeping certain personnel. We're talking about laying off first responders and police officers because we aren't getting state and municipal funding. So I, I appreciate when in Congress we say we're gonna get to it, but we need to get to it in time. From the beginning, uh, listening to it, it's quite clear like, you know, she's being passionate about like, hey, look, something needs to be done to help out the American people. Um, and for that, I do agree. But on the other hand, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you need to call out Nancy Pelosi and the Democratic establishment leadership. Um, the establishment, both in the RNC and the DNC, we have to remember that they're friends with each other, and you ran uh, on a strong progressive platform to really challenge the establishment. And right now, the establishment, they're living in their own world. When you have people like Steve Mnuchin basically saying that $1,200 can last somebody 10 weeks. Like I said before, that's fantasy. I, I don't know what kind of world that is, but that's in the realm of fantasy. There's no way, not in this day and age. And on the other hand, too, with the Democrats, when you have them basically surrounding them, basically going all in for Joe Biden and, you know, believing this whole notion that everyone wants to defeat Trump. Yeah, that sounds great, but unless you're going to fight for strong policies... Um, no one's going to rally around Joe Biden or the Democrats. And Nancy Pelosi, she's her own worst enemy. I mean, of course, she's eating ice cream out of a $25,000 refrigerator, but, you know, when the average American sees that, they get angry. 
And so your job, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, not only is to challenge the Republicans, but also the people within your own party. You've got to challenge Nancy Pelosi. You've got to push back against her. She's not going to fight for Medicare for All or student debt forgiveness. She was all on board for extending the Patriot Act to Donald Trump, giving him, more, giving him and his administration more power. She was all on board for the largest military defense budget. She's not on board for student debt forgiveness. She's not on board for fighting climate change. She's not on board for Medicare for All. You've got to call out the Democratic establishment. So yeah, while that video is nice, it's not enough, and people want to see more. People don't have confidence in the United States Congress anymore. COVID-19 and this economic depression that we will be entering into has proven that this system that we have built, that has been ruling over us, just doesn't work. And you have to be more aggressive. You have to push back. And to everyone that's watching this, the real change is really within us, the people. We have to start getting involved. We have to get money out of politics and change the way we run elections in this country because the current leadership, the current political system doesn't work. The RNC and DNC, I hate to tell it to you guys, they're friends with each other. It's one big club and we're not in it. So time to stand up and fight for that better future. This is Kit Cabello with Harlands Media. This has been Perspectives. Peace, everyone.